what's up guys? Um, I haven't done a video in a long time, like two years. So, uh, you know, I've had people asking me, quit doing videos or what? And uh, it's not really been intentional. Just kind of fell out of it really, um, I guess. Been uh, busy with some other things. And obviously I still come out when I can. I just haven't been filming it. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of fell out of it. Um, seems like, you know, it's all been done. And I didn't want to be repetitive. And, uh, but, you know, I get to thinking about it. And I do this for fun anyway. So, you know, what the hell. So, today, I wanted to do a video that's kind of a... <clears throat> a response of the comments on an older video that I have. It's uh, probably my most popular video. It's the finding flint when it's not natural to your area. And the comments. There's a section in this video where I'm taking rocks, flint, chirp, whatever. I'm striking them with my knife. And for some reason, people have this idea that I'm using the sharp end, sharp side, to strike the rock. And the comments, people are just convinced that I'm going to cut myself. So, I wanted to come out here today and do a video kind of showing how I do that without amputating my finger. Okay. So the first thing you need is a carbon steel knife. The next thing is a piece of flint or chert, whatever you want to call it. Just has to be hard enough to knock sparks off of that knife. Now, like I said, for some reason, all these people think that I'm using the sharp edge to hit the knife. I'm not. I'm using the back, the spine. And pretty much what you do is you're just grazing. A sharp area of your flint, the spine of that knife. And also, the way I'm holding it, I'm not holding it like this or like that. I'm holding it like that, keeping the sharp area away from me. from flopping around. Now, is this perfectly safe? No, it's not. Oh, another thing. Also, the rock you're holding, you don't want to hold it up like that. Hold it back. Give yourself some room. I hope those are showing up. So, is this the safest way to do it? No, not really. Uh, in that video, I was mainly doing it this way because I didn't have any surface other than my car to set the knife on or to do anything, so I had to hold it. But there are other ways to do this, and I'll show you those. So, ideally, what you would do is you would put it down like that. Again, you're using the dull side of the knife, the spine. And instead of moving the knife over the rock, you can move the rock over the knife. And 
and that is probably definitely a safer way to do it. You would put your char material down here, put your knife on it. Again, sharp edge facing away. Now, the best way to do it, safest way to do it, is with an actual designated striker. I like to have a high carbon knife just in case and when I made that video I didn't have this I've made this since then but this is probably the safest way no sharp edges Put the flint for that. I don't have a tender bundle. It's it rained all day yesterday, so there's really not. really not easy to find anything right now you know if I really wanted to get around and look I could but I'm being lazy today so so yeah I just wanted to do a quick video to kind of clear that up um, when I do these videos you know I, I guess I kind of assume that that most of the viewers kind of have a general understanding of certain things basic understanding and I you know I guess that's not the case for all of them you know, and that's, it's no big deal. Yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because, you know, people were freaking out on me. I did change my hat because there is a, a youth hunt going on this weekend, I think. And when I come out here, I didn't see anybody at all. But, um, four-wheelers and cars have kind of went by, so... Gotta be safe. Haven't done it this way in a while.
anyway guys so that's the end of the video battery mother came and went dead so I'm using my phone uh, so yeah uh, use the use the dull side on your knife not the sharp side yeah thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon on the next one Thank <laughs> you.